guys, it is Margaret, and I am coming to you from my closet, and apparently my flashlight is freaking out on me. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the closet, not just because I'm being weird, but I, <laughs> seriously, my, my flashlight is, is being possessed for the moment. Uh, so I joked about it being scary, but now I'm starting to get scared. Uh, anyway, so I am in the closet. I'm getting ready to shoot the rest of my testing Amber video. Um, and I wanted to share with you a sneak peek of what it's going to be about. And I'm going to tag on a little bit here from when I was up at my sister's place when we checked a piece of her Amber jewelry under the UV light. So we are rounding out Amber Week in Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. Um, so we've been talking about identifying different kinds of Ambers, different invitations, and this week it's all about testing Amber to make sure you've got the real deal or figuring out what you do have so you can list it right. Anyway, so I'm going to jump back to continuing testing the Amber that I've got here. This is one of the methods, but there are several others that I'll be showing uh, in the group. And if you are interested, go over and click the link for Jewelry Lovers and Sellers to find out more but uh, I'll tag on here the bit that I did when I was up at my sister's place but again there are other ways to test amber because the UV light I'm finding is not always foolproof all right see you later guys bye okay we've got a knife and a an amber we think necklace here okay so what we've got I should have shown you with the light on but that's okay <laughs> we have oh, a... okay, <laughs> okay. We have a little, this is a black light, uh, flashlight, UV light, okay, all right, and if we shine it on there, the real amber will glow, can you see it? It's not focusing very well, let me see if I can get it to focus, there we go, can you see that? So we put some jewelry under the, under the bed, so we could see, like comparison, when we shine it on just the different crystals and just regular jewelry that you can see when it passes over the real amber, it will glow. And I'm gonna do a better video about this, but I wanted to share that with y'all because I just learned it, so I thought I would share with you. There's, we, we learned that there was something called Capel or Koppel, Koppel, maybe it's called. And it's a fake amber that won't glow because it hasn't cured, I think is what. Look at your hand, <laughs> you can't see your hand. Okay, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys, and um, we'll be doing more about that and learning more about how to identify real amber later. So excited. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.